channel so today's video is going to be a haul and I'm doing this because it's literally just two items um, so last month I went to London um, and Greece and I was able to pick up a few items well just two items from London specifically um, so one of the items I got from the airport and we I think we flew through Gatwick and then the second item I got in Harrods um, but before I get into that hello my name is Maddie I film mostly luxury related videos so if you do enjoy watching all things luxury I would appreciate it if you join my little YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button down below turn the notification bell while you're at it just so you get notified every time I upload a video and if you're not new shout out to you you're a real one um, so I have both both items um right next to me and um I'll do like a quick backstory on where I got what and um yeah before without further ado let's get right into the video. I didn't get any bags um they're mostly except well accessories well one is an accessory and the other one's a pair of shoes um so I'm going to start with what I got first and what I got first comes in this Dior box right here. Pretty sure you guys can guess what it is. So this I got from Gatwick and um it wasn't planned. I we were going, where were we going? I think we were flying from London to Greece and um, after going through security and all that stuff, I saw like a sunglasses hut, I think it was a sunglasses hut. I don't remember which store, but one of those um, stores that they sell multiple brands of like different brands of sunglasses. Um, yeah, and I decided to actually buy a pair of sunglasses because I actually don't have a pair of designer sunglasses. Well, now I do um, because I'm, I don't want to say I'm careless, but like I typically mess stuff up. I actually got a pair from Colombia like two months ago and it's already broken. It was like $12 and it's already broken. Um, so I was, I've always kind of been skeptical to spend like a lot of money on sunglasses just because I know myself. Um, I break things. I'm clumsy. Things happen. So I'm just like, mm, maybe not. But I've wanted luxury or like designer sunglasses for a while now. Um, but yeah, what I got comes in this little pouch. It says Christian Dior, as you can see. I like the pouch. I don't know. It just feels very luxurious. Um, before I open it, it does come with like a Dior. I don't know if this is like a care booklet or what is this? Let's see. Yeah, I guess it's like a care booklet and then obviously it has like the wipes um, to clean the glass, the sunglasses. I've worn these, like I said, I've been back from the trip for like a month now. So I've worn these multiple times. Um, and the pair of sunglasses I got are the, I think these are the Dior 30 Montaigne. Is it 30 Montaigne? I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, sunglasses and this is what they look like. They have the CD right here on this side, on both sides. Um, and I believe this is brown. So I tried on the black one and I also tried on the black one. Did I say black and black? I tried on the brown one and I also tried the black one. Um, and I ended up getting the brown one just because I liked how this one looked better. I'll put it on so you guys can see. This is what it looks like on my face. So I'm realizing that I like really huge sunglasses that basically eat up half of my face just because I don't know. I love how they look. I love how it's oversized. Um, it has like Dior written on the thing on the inside. And actually, just so you like it, I like how the what is this called I like how this is slim because it doesn't get caught in my wigs when I have wigs on because like we all know if you wear wigs you know like the thick ones kind of get stuck and it's kind of irritating um but yeah this is the first thing that I got and I got this from Gatwick um oh so let's talk price um so I got this for 330 pounds I want to say which came up to like 420 or 430 dollars um and it retails for like 500 and something in the U.S. so I think I saved like a good hundred dollars which was great so that's one thing that I kind of had in mind because you know I know that luxury prices typically um are better in Europe or like in London and all that stuff so I ended up saving like 100 120 dollars I didn't pay tax so that also helped um a little bit but yeah that's the first item that I got and then and the second item that I got, I got from Harrods. Um, before I show you guys the, the item that I got, it's a pair of shoes. I think I've mentioned that before. I just want to like let you guys like talk to you guys a little bit about my experience in Harrods. So I didn't go into Harrods, um, you know, what's the word? Like with anything specific in mind. I had my wish list items in the back of my head. And basically the main thing that I was focused on was saving money. So I wanted to buy I was only gonna purchase anything that, you know, if I were to if I were to get it in the US I would save money on. Um it was packed. It was a Monday. 
um yeah i think it was a monday and for whatever reason i think it was easter monday it was a holiday so it was a holiday um over there so i, I don't know if that made it more busy because harrow's was packed like it was super busy um it was just crazy so we went to chanel dior um hermes hermes was stupid packed like it was a shitload of people you could barely get an essay um and i went in at different times we went to manolo we went to amina moadi's i don't know if i mentioned louis vuitton we went to prada went to fendi uh bottega basically we went to like all the stores for the most part and then we went to like a perfume place what i will say is i don't know if I don't know if this is how things are in the UK, but like basically all the stores that I walked into, no one came up to me to ask if I needed help. Um, and it kind of ticked me off. Like I was like, okay, this is weird. So even the store that I ended up purchasing something from, like I walked around and then like I walked around the store looking for what I was looking for. And when I didn't see it, like people, there was a lot of essays just standing around. Like no one was saying anything. I had to walk up to a lady and be like, "Do you guys have this? Like, can someone help me?" Um, and it was basically in all the stores except the Balenciaga store. So I tried on. I didn't. I didn't film anything. I don't know. I'm just. I'm not. I don't want to say I'm not confident enough, but like I'm just not comfortable with it. Like it just the thought of having to hold my phone or like record. I don't have time for someone to tell me off and be like, oh, you can't record in here because we might fight. Um, so I just don't even pull out my phone or do anything or like record anything while I'm shopping. Um, I know you guys want to see vlogs and all that stuff, but I didn't vlog it. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, the only store that the guy, well, two stores actually, hats off to the to the guy who spoke to me. It was me, my sister, and my cousin. Hats off to the guy who spoke to us in, in um, Balenciaga. I tried on the hourglass because I do love that bag. Um, I originally thought I wanted the small, but I think I like the extra small. Anyway, he went above and beyond and I felt so bad for not even buying the bag um, in the end. And then same thing at Loewe, like the lady and the guy, they were really nice. Like they kept bringing out different colors of the, what is it called? The popular Louis V bag, uh, the puzzle bag, but like in the mini size. Um, those are the only two stores that I felt like the customer service was great. Everywhere else, like they just be. I don't know if it, I don't know if that's how it is in the UK, but like, yeah, like I literally had to go. We went to the Mina Moadi store, and like I was like, oh, do you have do you have the bagums? And she was like, no. And the way she said no, my cousin's like, yeah, they're not nice. And I'm just like, bruh. Do you want to fight? Because <laughs> we can. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, it was a little weird. But anyway, I feel like I've rambled on a little too much. Let me show you guys what I got. So the item that I got is from Louis Vuitton. And it comes in this box. She was really nice after I walked up to her to be like, do you have these? Like, come on. She was nice after. She was asking me about like the weather in the US, like trying to have conversations with me. I'm like, don't talk to me now. <laughs> now that you know I want to purchase something, don't talk to me. Um, She was sweet enough though. Like she gave me like the collapsible box and all that stuff. But yeah, she was trying to have a conversation with me after and I wasn't having it. I'm just joking. Um, but yeah. So I think I mentioned that what I got is a pair of shoes. It comes with two dust bags. Honestly, don't know where the second one is, but yeah. Oh, it's in here. Duh. Comes with two dust bags. And then what else? This is like the Harrods receipt, which I will talk about price um, a little later. So this is a wish list item. Um, I, I think it was on my wish list. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, what I got is the Louis Vuitton Bomb Dia Mules. I absolutely love these shoes. When I try them on, my sister's like, yeah, you should get them. My cousin too is like, yeah, they're really nice. Um, but these are them. Ooh. Breaking transmission. Okay, these are them. Um, I haven't worn them out yet. I've worn them in the house, um, but I haven't worn them out because the weather, strangely enough, hasn't been that great. Um, but yeah, I got a 37 and a half um because it just fit better um the 37 was a little too tight like my my foot was sticking out in the back but with this one like my foot stays right on the inside which is great um it's so funny i forgot that you know like uk sizing or like london sizing is different so i walked in i'm like oh can i try a size seven and then when she pulled it out of the box i'm like bruh i know for a fact my feet are not are not are not these like this big um so i was like oh i apologize i met you a us size seven and she's like oh okay i'm like she's like a 37 37 and a half and i was like yeah these are basically what i got absolutely love them i'll do like a try on portion just so you guys can see what it looks like on my feet and back to price uh so the only reason why i got this is so i paid 660 pounds for this um it has that on the receipt and i think that came up to like 850 or 860 us dollars 
So the Bomb Dia on the Louis Vuitton US website retails for 960 something. I'll put it up on the screen because I don't remember exactly. And just for shits and giggles, I put it in my cart. It was a, It's always available, basically. I put it in my cart and I added like all my information just so I could see how much like tax and all that stuff would be. And it came up to like a thousand something. So by getting it in Harrods, I saved $200, which was not bad at all. I didn't pay tax in Harrods. I'm not sure if, you know, it's the whole department store that you don't pay. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, so I ended up saving about $200 just by getting it um, in London. I went to the Hermes store. I wanted to like get another pair of orange sandals. It was basically the same price. It was basically the same price, if not even more. I think maybe the style that I was looking at was expensive because it was like 900 and something pounds which would be like over a thousand dollars um i went to manolo blonics i tried on the hangy seeds in the 90s absolutely love them um but the sizing was a little weird so the 37 was too tight but the 37 and a half was a little too big but she kept telling me to go a size up it was it was basically the same price as well so i was just like nah i'm not gonna get it if i can get it for the same price in america why not um and then what else what else did i try on I don't remember. But yeah, that basically wraps up this video um, of the things that I got in London. Um, I had a great time there. It was just like the shopping experience was a little weird. Harrods is huge. It's stupid huge. We were fasting, so I... <clears throat> We were fasting, so I wasn't able to eat. Like, we walked by the... I think it was Gordon Ramsay restaurant, but couldn't eat anything. Uh, what else? I mean, it was, it was, it was a decent experience. That's, that was my first time going to Harrods. For some reason, I thought I had been to Harrods, but I, I think I was mixing it up with, mixing it up with Selfridges. But yeah, anyway, that basically does it for today's video. I feel like I've rambled on a little too much just to show you guys two things. Um, let me know what you guys think of the items that I got. Uh, if you've been to Harrods, let me know what your experience is. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave comments in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the notification bell while you're at it, just so you get notified every time I upload a video. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not sure if I've said that before, but if I have, it doesn't hurt to say it again. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.